Wait, he's in the gritty. Shoo. Shoo. Woo. Damn, wait, they're kind of going crazy. Oh, boy. Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Okay. Sparkle? You can't open up with a racist line. Okay, you can't do this. Look at you. Snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. I know who this is. Is the smell of death so enticing, my friend? Well, well, fellow? well. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. Remlin alert. <laughs> I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? You the look alike. Working with the family. I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become <laughs> one yourself. You really let me down. Instructions weren't clear. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. All right, bro. She's so sassy. Uh, no, I, I mean, what did you mean by becoming one myself? Yeah, go back to that. Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Huh. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out... This is all part of the plan. Will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend? That's all she cares about. Chaos. Elation. Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Hmm. This bird. <gasps> this is the Sunday bird. And what if I say no? Uh, who else is mute? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other... Though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. A sad... Um... I... What does now it mean? I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. Those are two big things that I have control of. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> How impressive! <laughs> I was gonna say. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything. That's what so I far. heard. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence, and that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17. No. 16 system hours. One hour to spare. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured destruction button. And I have one just like it. What? When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. You have a f you have a bomb? You mean the whole, like, planet? Or, like, just, like, the section, the dreamscape? Like... If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Panacone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. 
That's where the IPC excels, right? So like, how do I not accidentally hit the button? I'm gonna put that in my back pocket and sit down on it and go, <gasps> have an ass Just blast. press the button when you're not the good kind. End. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care too. We're all gonna die. No, oh, deadly button, huh? <laughs> Well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Maybe Otherwise, it's all a gag, though. How on earth did you manage to bring it in here? Maybe she's lying. <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. Like, I would never put this in my back pocket, because this would blow up. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way... I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of, but it's good to hear that he's still here in Panagoni. Who is this other I'll mute? I'll handle the rest myself. Sam? I'll orchestrate no. a grand finale for the downfall of the family. And the climax. And at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. Firefly? When that time comes, go ahead. Robin. Press the button. Sam. Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. That's a lot of mystery at the climax. <laughs> climax won't be big. You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Big, big climax Just on the way. Just don't let me down now, okay? All right, goodbye, racist lady. That that that. Uh, even more backstory on him when he had this imprinted on him. So number thirty-five, you're back. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence. <laughs> I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. Dude, it's always been oppressed. The guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. It's called luck. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? He's enslaved. So how red it is, I guess it's a brand, not a tattoo. Maybe you got a tattoo down the road to remember some. Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a mm, game well. with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. I've actually been through some shit, man. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Making him uh, fight with her. The, the money you spent on me will go to waste. He's got the fight to live. I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. <laughs> the slave market is never short of self-righteous brats. Oh like my you. god! But you look good, and that's why many cust Hello? customers are betting their hello fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't. Uh, how much did you spend? He like wants to be the most expensive one. What? My price. Uh, how much did you pay for me? Huh? You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was sixty tanba. No more, no less. Red copper coins. I'll take my chances. Thirty tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanva. Deal? Dude. <laughs> Are you he trying knows to strike live. a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. And then Don't then forget then. your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. Life thrown away in someone else's Dude. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. How about we just kill the master? It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. I feel so bad for adventuring now. 
Now I kind of, I kind of want him to be the ultimate winner of all of this. What brings you here, Gallagher? Oh yeah, the bartender. <sighs> Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Siobhan. Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. Siobhan, get down. You know what I mean? This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. What would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look, a lady as cool as Sir Ball. She's cool indeed. I think she is Sir Ball. <laughs> Who's Sir Ball? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Oops. Oh, she's <laughs> interested. She's heard us. I know what you are. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? This voice actor is in Genshin somewhere. I swear. Does anybody know what, what he does? Or am I crazy? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> Hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. M who? Maybe Persona? Where's the Gallagher's voice from? This might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. Maybe it's an early, earlier part of the game in Star Rail. Sounds like one of the NPCs. Maybe that's what it is. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Look, bro, she got hell ass. Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. <laughs> Samar does not know that this lady wants to get down and dirty with her. She does not know. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. She does the not have any idea. to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no Says place in legs. <laughs> well, hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. I can only imagine how intense the scene must have been. So enemies drop gold coins even in a dream. <laughs> That's a clever metaphor. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place filled with monsters is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? Siobhan. I'm naming my kid Siobhan now. You'll have to ask her yourself to find Siobhan. out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Uh, watch this. My apple teeny skills? <sighs> Blow your pants off. Himiko. Hey. Shibon? Soul Glad. Shibon. But I thought they didn't sell Soul Glad at the bar. <laughs> Let's give it a shake. Nice. It's still busy and has a long shelf life. Don't. It's no good for our drink if it's all shaken up. Uh huh. I. Let's just leave it here for a while. Shibon. And it'll be all right. Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this bar? It's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. True. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. You can only get vodka cranberry at one bar. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. They do not well, serve vodka cranberry here. Yes. Recipe not for Soul Glad. Sure if it's enough. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Huh? Uh-huh. What's all the commotion about? <sighs> Haven't I made myself Shiva. enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. 
But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Penacony, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. Desperate. <sighs> that person's not the good look, honey. As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just one moment. I'm confused. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Yo, is there so is anybody else that she also has like a halo floating thing like Sunday does? Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? <gasps> That's right. How come even you? Hey Miko, what? Time is running out. We need to hurry. Yeah, I'm counting on you. It's fun. <laughs> okay. All right, buddy. All right, plan to finish this quest in one go or split it. I probably should split it because I have to be at the airport at 8 a.m. tomorrow, which is 13 hours from right now, and I have it packed. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. She is obsessed. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Shibon said, anything can be inhibited. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew different drink ingredients. Let's make her happy for once. God dang. Happy. I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is going wild. No! Applause crashing like waves. The aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing. Ribbons dancing around us. And the taste is sweeter than honey. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams. And every time, it mesmerizes me. That's why I have to bring her back to that world. No matter what it takes. <sighs> Want to raise a glass, my attentive listener? Let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream. She already seems gone. Hey, Mickey poured pico white grape soda to your tall glass. Clink, drink, sink. She's still not leaving. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to try again. <laughs> Bring a gun or something. I don't know, man. How do we solve this? All right, I decided I'm gonna finish the whole thing tonight. Fuck it. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Try reading her thoughts. Let's make her angry. We one shot it. Jerks! Uh, they're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving. This is the right she one. Doesn't want to run into them again. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back. And write a letter to the Dream Master exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. I don't get this character at all. I just don't. Oh my god, leave! Get out of my home! Blood, you saw two or three hours left at the quest? Fuck it, we ball. Emotions have been turned to sad. It's ridiculous, right? Here we go again. Our paths 
were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past, and you have no clue how radiant she used to be. <laughs> Even among the talented Iris family, her skill <laughs> was unmatched. This girl screams Red Square. I love that. I know. She probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want... Okay, bro, get over yourself. You feel like Spookable makes a bit of a and sweet. Yeah, 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 I don't give a fuck. Give me, give me to the boss battle. I want to see the good stuff. You think I care about well, this, this woman? Talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. <laughs> my thoughts are swirling, uh, making my mind clear, uh, and bringing tears to my eyes. Is that a good thing? Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Did you speak so slow? Here's the payment for the drinks. Okay, thank you. Has left? Yeah, she had to go. That's good for her. Yeah, she had to go. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. She's an obsessed fan. Already, a gay Gallup. fan. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. He wants to start throwing some punches. All right, here's some good stuff. All right, we're ready. Eternal endurance. A lot of words, too bad I ain't gonna read them. <laughs> that being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients. So go ahead, explore the bar, and bring me any ingredients you prefer. I got nice them all. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now take your pick. Um, one Shirley Temple, please, sir. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? I didn't get the dream syrup, but whatever, I'll use white grape the soda. The original formula is said to be Hanunu's favorite drink. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. Okay, okay, I want... I want internal endurance because it took me so fucking long to get this. The taste is... Not very intense, yet evocative. After those despicables sent Mikhail away, I found myself lost in the wilderness of my dreams. They say that even the dirt here oozes with sweetness. <laughs> All I tasted was stoic bitterness. Is he okay? Like... Mikhail. Mikhail! Oh, almost there. Mikhail! Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? For this Anything name. you need, I've got it. Hanu sign. A symbol of bravery and dauntlessness. May you break free from your shackles just like he did. Well, it's done. Hanu. Here's to you, Trailblazer. That's with cute. This glass of even, even to the, the sad wicked truth. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so, are you satisfied? I want to make the that drink IRL. Flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. I'm going to the Pinacani event tomorrow. I hope they have special drinks like this. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. You know who Gallagher kind of sounds like to me? He sounds like a version of Sampo, but deeper. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. Yeah. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Yeah. Nothing more. I, it's kind of like a Sampo with a bit of a twang. Does this true taste have anything to do with that Mikhail? Mikhail. I heard his name in a dream. Yeah. That name does sound familiar. 
when you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell Here we you go. a story about This is Kale. big. Where is Misha, by the way? All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. This is a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. How old is bro? But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacony at all. So maybe she never did and it was just some world hacking in Sam. Sam's a part of the simulation and Sam is Firefly. Firefly was never real, I don't what? know. Does uh, that mean... Death eradicated her? She's a ghost. She, she's a ghost? <laughs> a clever metaphor. Um, you, you were making a metaphor, right? Yeah. Yes. Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? Is that a flask? So, I just noticed the flask. Death does happen in Penacone, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Uh, March is not. In the head. Confronting the family based on doll. that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. Okay. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Mm. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone, and thus the answer to the question, why, Why does, does life, life slumber? slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. She remembered one for one. Hey, why are you laughing? Thanks, gaming. Wait, did you write it? <laughs> it's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. Oh, how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacone and its actual manager are right, right. huh. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy for a long time, but the hounds haven't been able to track him down as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? Because it's shit like that? I don't know. So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation but kept you in the dark, right? Let's get back to the Mikhail thing, though. Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. But what does this have to do with Mikhail? You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the Watchmaker. <sighs> Huh? Imagine Misha's like the ultimate grandio one, the guy, that guy, sometime later. That's big info. Here we are, Clock Studios Theme Park, the most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Well, 
wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library <laughs> or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. Sounds a lot less fun than what's right here right now. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought, fought for, for freedom. freedom. He is Hanu, <gasps> the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. Hanu! So the character Hanu is based on the real life person. So the clocky cartoon is actually a documentary. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. That's crazy. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. I thought they were nothing more than just some like cute little There are so many members of the Blood family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Yeah, who knows? I wonder if the... I wonder if I have any money. I don't. <laughs> I got an achievement though. I'll give me a little bit of cash back 10 20 cash in cash out cash in cash out 25 oh my god yippee <laughs> so many of them i've never seen anything like this even when they're tracking down suspects can you convince us can you convince them to let us in we don't need to go in we don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside we can just talk here Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? <laughs> okay. You can see everything from here. <laughs> I love how they gave us the most in your face ass shot when he said that. Including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters <laughs> in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. In the animation, He's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Astana? Astana. It was a monumental war for freedom. That thing looks succulent. Anemia fought <laughs> alongside a motley crew of masked fools, oh my God. nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? <laughs> he did not like that question. I'm 13. <laughs> All right, Harry, put your fucking hands up. We got him, boys. My name's Chris Hansen. Get on the floor. Right after you just said he had the most succulent ass known to man. Oh my god. Bro, I swear to God, whenever I ask chatters like how tall they are or something, they're like. Well, I'm 13 and 6'5 with a full beard. This is the shadows I imagine. This is like you guys. That is hilarious. Got you guys in 4K. Uh, no way. Not even close. <laughs> Mark's response is so much funnier. You're like, no. You can't be. 
Now. The Nunu freed the frontier prison. He ignored it. Peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, well, the future of Osdana was uncertain. He ignored her question, so I guess it's canonically 13. It wasn't until the watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivity. Do the I double finally down? gained its name and glory. <laughs> Do I double down? Thus, he became known as the father of Kennedy. He said, I think he's lying. <laughs> No. 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 But didn't you say the watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family. But to, to Mikhail. Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Oh, you're only 13, man. Give yourself some credit. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else, while well, they continue to praise the watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog, the family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Hmm. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, hmm. in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Who could it be? What if it's Sunday? Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is. Or Misha, maybe. Or He's in the background. Real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dream. Probably Misha. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because Misha also could see Clocky. Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. Why could it? Why could Mikhail see Clocky? Did Akira couldn't see Clocky when we had that cutscene in the first part? So it's gotta be Misha, because he's the only other one that I think can see them. We will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. It was in if the dream, too. The last time. Only for those who despise me can form Mikhail a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. Maybe it's us. Yeah, <laughs> I'm paying attention. I that's my job. Ask me any question about any game ever. I can answer it. I've told you all I know is a sign. Yeah, let's of go, Joshi. Hell yeah. Thank you for listening to this old dog, bark and all. Yeah, whole ripe thirteen years old. <laughs> hmm? uh, that's the funniest just thing. At the theme park. Uh, uh. Now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacone today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? That was a fascinating set of events. 
Yes. Misha can see Clocky along with the Trailblazer. Clocky can only be seen in those with pure souls. Misha has to be big in this, because also Misha's the only other character outside of Akron that's a part of the dreams. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, but I add. his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, Small details. and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. And that the family isn't United after exactly. all that. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. And that death is related to the Watchmaker. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. And that Clocky is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? <laughs> okay. He's just a fictional character, not a real person. I see the voices in my head. Speaking of which, oh. that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Yeah, guys, we have. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on. I his love end. the Welt cutscene. Ask about wealth situation. Mr. Yang, our investigation has come to an end. How's the progress going on your end? Well, typing, not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're headed now to Do Light Pavilion. Akron, huh? Didn't the say she was dangerous? I confirm that she's on our side. Okay, so she is on our side. Don't worry, please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Monka. Are we going to Akron? Are your companions worried about you? <gasps> Every time I see her, my breath gets taken out of my chest. <laughs> They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter oh, the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. We're together. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Dude, the music is so good. Oh my god, we get to play as her. I'm not building mine today because I'm going to do a video where I build her in one day. So I'm waiting to do that until maybe I even get some more cons. But like, damn. That is a woman right there. The attacks. So smooth. Something feels off. A We've been here already. Like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Akron draws her blade slightly. Within a moment, her breath became... White. I had to read the last word. I've made myself less White. noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. <laughs> Could spam me and it doesn't use points unless you hit something. Stream four. The gleam. Bro, you can just spam it? Oh my yeah. god. Oh, sand pit. It's the golden hour. She's broken, bro. Maybe the heads of the family use that model for and the footprints here are different from the rest. Makes the game Two so much faster. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here now. That shit is clean. She can beat mobs without going into a fight. It's Genshin Impact RP. And it's also a one shot. You get all of the credits for it and everything. It, I think this is good for them to release a character that can completely bypass. Sometimes the only downside to trying to traverse the overworld. Oh, there aren't any people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards. Can I watch out this, this one? It's only overworld mobs. This is a boss though, so if it's a boss fight, you can't it's skip it. Is. Okay, so first things first, let's blast them. Jesus. I like, sc I she broke my computer. Yes. One, yes. two, three. Oh. All right, there we go, that's pretty fast. Look, it dropped something. E2. That's nice. That's actually not that high of an investment. A note. 
Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Hmm. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. That's suspicious. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. <sighs> Here we go, boys. Yeah. It's nice that you don't waste it by hitting it. No one here either. Okay, no Sunday in this room. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Is that just like your veil, bro? Your protection veil? Didn't I just couldn't believe he said that. The crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. Yeah, I thought it was a glitch. And now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Or maybe I don't, well, fuck, I have no idea. True, list of deaths victims. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be Sunday's targeting definitely haunting themselves. victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. Broken do hypnosis mind control. But he's worried about this stuff. I don't he's know. Just surprised that it has resurfaced. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. Can I have it for free? According to Robin's interview. Despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. They're just a baby. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah, time has a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Amen, sister. Uh-oh. Are we going to see some leftovers of the adventuring? A letter from Alfalfa. Okay. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Odie is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. True, everybody's at odds to try to maybe have control of the Watchmaker eventually. List of suspects. Oh God, they got my boy Benny. Benny! Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders. But I haven't met any of them. Unlucky again. Oh, wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. Hello. That's all for now. The cutoffs. <laughs> I thought my computer died or something. I was like, what is that? Before coming here, it's a little glitchy, I had no? all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Did you guys have this experience when you played? Watch out. Someone's approaching. Huh? I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. <clears throat> Where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? I just didn't know where to go pee. Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Hey. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. 
I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? I'm in the wrong, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm in the wrong. Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. Mm, okay, you will leave. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. <laughs> I love when games like this, they just like turn at each other and say the most obvious thing right in front of him. While he doesn't know we looked through stuff. While a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you, <laughs> you the did what? will pay the price. Let's hope justice <laughs> will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. I trust my boy no matter what. He's a businessman. Not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. I trust him no matter what. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Okay, that's just not what normal people say. You know, with that guy. Don't do the little... Bro's doing like a colon three every time he speaks. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. Ejhazio, more like Ahigo, am I right? This fraud case Sorry. has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avgin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. Sigonia? As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. I don't know who you are, but I like, I like that. No, I'm sold. What pretty eyes. Tell me. Do they shine in the dark? Jade. Jade. Venturine. R R R R Topaz. Another stone. Well, if they did, You're a cornerstone holder. Heartbeat. Kakavasha. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet. You went and killed that man anyway. He killed him? No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. How did he do it? I want to see a cutscene of that. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. I love taxes now. You're okay. pretty confident on your eloquence. <laughs> okay. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will take <laughs> something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe uh, even the Sand King's remains. 
pity your luck has run out. Suddenly, I feel like filing my taxes this year. I'll admit that. <laughs> it's such a funny comment. What I'm more curious about, though, <laughs> is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high stakes gamble. Oh, shit. Hey, yo, that ring holding on for his dear life. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Okay, how much you betting on that? <laughs> what do you want then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. Chief. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that That's simple, can That's bold it? of him to be in front of her and ask for that. It is that simple. 30 tonbas. That's what he asked for before. The remainder of my market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. Oh my god. I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. Diamond no one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. This is four of the cornerstone holders. Four. Diamond Jade. Adventuring Topaz. 30 Tonbas. He'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Join us in tax collecting. It's great. The Kavasha. <laughs> A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. Whoa. Then, <laughs> use them well, child. How he joined. May your plans never suffer failure. That's crazy. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. But you know what, man? Gambles sometimes have losses. Imagine he loses the one important one. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. Surely. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure, never to return? Damn. I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas, lowly gambler. <laughs> huh? Is that his inner subconscious? Oh wait, that's. <laughs> <What>? I forgot. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was Sunday for a second. It's like muffled. It is his internal consciousness. Am I dreaming or have I gone completely insane? Huh? Perhaps both. I've forgotten me already. When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlord, who was it that gave you the idea? You can split Fuck. personality disorder. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get uh, out of my head. 
newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone. I'll be with you for the last stretch of your I retract my O. I said a second ago. I don't know what's happening now. Heart to heart I thought I was on. about to understand. Is this is this my <laughs> consciousness? What exactly are you? The Pinacate is a mind bender. It's molding my brain. Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Death? I am your future. First, I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing. <laughs> Great. The voice says. I'm going to be elevated into the harmonies emanator next. Okay. Do I have another? Yes, I have another one. I swear to God, before the end of this recording, I need to have this light on. Please. <laughs> Please. God. Why are there no guests here? Huh? Just a Pepeshi? No. A child. A child? Something worse. It's a child. No, oh, my money. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? But they're allowed lost? to work here? What's wrong, mister? <gasps> you don't look well. The eyes! <laughs> Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. It's young Colorful him. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are... Are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. The thunder. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes. And Mama Thunder. No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any Avdens left. I'm so confused. There might be in my head, though. Catch up to the young Avgen. Even like the uh, quest log to the left is all glitchy and weird. I'm not gonna fight you guys because I'm on a schedule right now. I'll see. <gasps> there is money there. How much do I need for another pool? It ain't worth it. I'll come back later. Papa, Mama, wait for me. Papa, <laughs> Mama. What are you still doing? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. I want to taste actual so glad. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat, which is why once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. <laughs> well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen, while you it's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations. 
especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you meticulously devised? <laughs> Go on, tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, sober, cautious, massive inferiority complex. Mm. You've won so much, you're still so afraid of losing. His big loss is coming, man. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight blush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips. Dear life. He's faking it till he makes it. It's a heck of an act. He's made it a lot. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation, and was that not what you most wanted? Mm. But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? Ratio might, yeah, I don't know, like, I think maybe he will. We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear? Bro's a self pegger. <laughs> <sighs> Hide and seek. <laughs> what sweet childhood memories. When Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. The shackles. Those shrill cackles. <sighs> you had to hide right under the noses of those savages. The thunder. You and Big Sis, playing dead, drifting in all that bloody water. Man, he had a tough upbringing. Dude, it wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Come on, it's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. He's so baby, changed. so sentimental too. Yeah, he keeps it because it's the last thing he has connected to him is to oh, his dad. child could he be in here kid come on out I have freedom kid I can help you not with the freedom part but if you have like math homework maybe I can help with that feeling lucky ah! Ah! stop I keep getting chased. We do not have candy. Is That's not what I said. <gasps> topaz. A, a topaz. A topaz. <laughs> what does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart? So? Uh, I was merely curious at why it was here. I don't know what's happening anymore. Just bait. 
Of course. Me when I'm a fish. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say that doctor's acting was superb. I even doubted him for a bit, actually. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. We spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait. To Baz? Cornerstone, and before you know it... Boom. Here we are. Everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. What's the third stone? <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? <sighs> your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. Your no way, it's Jade's. We're the same. The best way to prevent Ruby, diamond. What are the songs about? They're amethyst. You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. I mean, every time I get lucky, that's my whole shtick. This is the rock. <laughs> That'd be funny if Dwayne the Rock Johnson was here. Just like you. They could canonically make Dwayne the Rock Johnson a part of this game if they wanted to. Y'all realize that? That'd be so funny, God. <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? Hmm. This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often Emerald. used as a substitute. Emerald? Precious gem is Jade. Oh. <laughs> oh. Everybody's like naming stones. Opal. <laughs> Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. You're even more united than the family. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. It's definitely a Sunday trick or something. Uh, I don't know. Suddenly, like, what is, what is happening? Yeah, oh, kind of weird since you're me. I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. Okay, they've always been They're with right where me. They belong. In my ass. That's where he kept them. He kept them in his ass. Piled up with these cheap baubles. You smashed the adventure stone before you. Just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. It's a marketing opportunity here. A humble pebble coated in the Smash though, yeah. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Clipoff's body. Shattering the stone? The IPC will let you get off Scott. So he shattered, he got rid of it. Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Now I'm really curious. 
Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? It's our role, baby. Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is... Big Gamba. Big Gamba. You can do what it takes. Big gamble, big money. We'll just have to wait and see then. Okay, that was uh, really long and confusing. Another illusion of the harmony. Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Oh. Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Uh, what'd you say, a blimp? Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. Uh oh. The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> sure. Okay, time to have fun. Hamster ball night, fast and furry nuts. Okay, my god. Fast and furry nuts? What the hell is this? I got the goddamn fast and furry nuts. Oh, so you try to avoid the balls? This music is kind of a jammer though. Hold on. Wait, how do I move? Ah, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Yo, wait, I'm kind of crazy at this. Oh. 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 Oh, shit. It's going way faster now. What is it just end when I die? Oh no, I see there's a little bar at the end. That was cool. You can kill them when you when you like that. Oh the fast ones. I didn't realize. Nice. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> Boring. Did he leave? Did the kid leave? Boring. Is this like a little mini event thing I can earn money through? <sighs> Why you again, you man? Talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time. Y aren't you me? Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. <laughs> Moving on. See that thing is Moving on. I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. He wants to stretch me out? This place. It's so tall. And there are so many flowers here. Got a complete this, maze. This one's for you. Sandy Road. Surely there's no enemies on this maze, yes? Okay. Lots of money along the way. And oh. A dead end? No, what? <gasps> Shackles! It, oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. You made your first pot of gold. I remember it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze, you... Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Nope. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth only 60 tamas. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it. Because it only proves you are weak. He's getting in my head. How could a weak person take such daring risks? The voice in my head's in my head. 
That's another stone. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. I'm really trying to wrap my mind about what he's getting at here. Sub Z zero. You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? <laughs> That's cheating. Bro just left me mid conversation. These leaves could be brought back. Would they bloom into new flowers? No, kid, they're dead. A brooch <laughs> from my mother. When I was a baby. Sentimental. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of Mama. jewelry: a necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Oh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. Mama. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. Jesus! You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. Tisk, tisk. A lifelong regret, indeed. I really am my worst own enemy. Enough. Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ. Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! Woo! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> Well, you stuck to that start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool. And a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Gamba. Death. Oh, death. Exactly. <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. Gamble. <laughs> All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaia's blessing? 
Maybe the burden of having the blessing in itself is harder than death because he knows that I have this and has to live up to it because I'm sentimental over my mom's beliefs of it. And now if I let it die and I die with it, then that means or I lose a bet, then that means my mom's last wishes and her beliefs are in vain. And then what is the point of all of this? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So quiet this time. Is he I don't want gone? my mom to be wrong. I don't want her final disappear. Undying, her dying wish. Finally, to be a lie. Made it out of this place. We're going home, but I don't want to go back yet. Get in the ball, kid. Esther, is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. <laughs> I hear polyester. I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was kind of fun. Mm. You're going back? So he doesn't want him to leave. Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. Anywhere where they're at. In this dream. Dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, Mister, why don't you like it? It's not reality. <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they then? I don't know. You do know. But there's no point pressing the issue dead but can't believe it <laughs> admit it you're tired we all are which is why we chose to stay here me and him your past and future How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. What does this mean? <laughs> if you're my future and you're here... Chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is, and the watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want, what you need, is to be the smooth operator, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains, and spotlit center stage. <laughs> You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. You're my future, though. So, do you know better than I? I can do it. And it will be flawless. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple, no? That way, the IBC will earn a place at the table. 
And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. Oh. My brain. So that's why Diamond chose you. Adventuring is such an ass to your character. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? I am. Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. This is an amazing OST. I can't stop I'm just listening to it. We can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. choices in their lifetime though luck always seems like it's on your side you will keep winning having never lost before but why you why must it be you I built different the ambient like rain noises too if all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love on the loss of dozens more these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanthra. If all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? <sighs> well, maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Future. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's your past. So interesting how they laid out the scene, it's man. Best to die without regrets. This is him like confirming his death. Going this last gamble will be a big sacrifice that's necessary. <sighs> it's such a sad song and moment when you realize it's his past and his future. Saying goodbye. And now only we are left. You gotta let go of that kid side and grow into your responsibility side. <laughs> Maybe. Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Oh man. Sure. Come on. Adventuring such a such a good writing. Oh, we're getting the little ah. Uh... <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Wait, I want to be in it with you. Can I? Shit. <laughs> Dang, I thought I was the main character. All right, whatever. Boom. Bravo. <laughs> Nice. Now I can so see gentle. I look like too. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, <laughs> mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Cash and me and my friends is crazy. Oh. You're about to go on stage, aren't you? It's gonna be the biggest performance here. Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. The finale finale. I'm sure. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are... <laughs> Just the kid alone. So stylish. This has got to be the <laughs> I'm actually best OSC. Merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Minute block. 
Can you pull up the quest description? What's my current quest log? All the sad tales. Get on stage, fear not, never look back. Guys? Da -da 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 -da. I want to learn this on the trumpet. So beautiful. Behind this curtain the is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Dude, what's about that? <sighs> Thank you. Go down. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. <sighs> It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own <gasps> way, Kavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up at the nothing. catechins. This is a trick, an act of revenge. Remember? Today is the day of the Kakava. <gasps> and also your birthday. It's your birthday. You no, know, the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. This time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The catechins stand no chance against them and will surely pay for their arrogance. Surely, right? You guys are gonna win, right? Without this rain, the catechins would never take action and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra and you are Kakavasha whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for it's me. religion, man. I must answer the call. But she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid, and do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you, and the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. Start of the reincarnation. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. No. Newsflash from the Inter Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. Mm. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. They killed almost 7K? The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster 
At the same time, that's genocide. An important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Yeah, where was the protection from the IPC? Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Dude, wow, that is a crazy, like, that is a crazy scene. He's gone. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Ah. Shit. Ugh. I lost my headset. That shit hurts so bad, man. Pull the dagger right out of my heart. Get on stage. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. Okay. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Him being such the main focal point of this whole thing has been so unexpected. So unexpected. He always felt like he was going to be secondary. Kakavisha. I'm looking back. By the way. Before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? I didn't get that answer yet. <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. I only ever get a nat 20. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Are we gonna have to wait to see? Is this Oh Ms. my god. Oh, Don't I'm edge me. The Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. <laughs> I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Yeah, we, we I've seen you in my dreams. Hey, I still deserve a proper intro. You can call me Cloggy. <laughs> so keeping up the bit. Uh, this is just like the bit. Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Welt has decided to travel with you, it means Go back to the main character. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. You don't know what he's going through. Shut up. He's going through a lot. Which is why, before we continue working together... No, he doesn't. He has a duty to explain himself. He's gone through a lot. You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning. Big climax here. Shireen's actions. Mm -hmm. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning mm -hmm. and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate him. to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. But we must meet our justice for the dead. Maybe we should now get out of here while we still can. <laughs> I am the bone of my bat. Stellaron is my body. Trailblaze is my blood. You're talking weird again. But it's a good <laughs> vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPCs Like your vibe. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Hey, Amen, sister. Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. I'm in love with you. Sorry. Let's move out then. Sorry. No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. 
What? The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Pentaconi's history is about to begin. Who up rolled the loudspeaker? The IPC cordially invites everyone to Clock Studios theme park. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. The hour, he said the thing. The hour of trailblazing is nigh. Uh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Godspeed, brothers. No time and head to the theme park, then. Let's do this. Let's do this! We're gonna save Aventurine. Mr. Yang. Hmm? Hmm. Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's another business. It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. <laughs> we need a couple more. It's been a seven hour quest almost, so. <laughs> but I yeah, chose time. to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you. You know how boss fights always had that extra mechanic? Oh, if she's the extra. strength is required. My meager. Like you're not the strongest person in the fucking universe, probably. We're back here again. Aventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? He's my superstar, Marcy. You lost your fucking mouth. Put some respect on his name. Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Alright. Check it on my shoulder. <gasps> Stop following me. <laughs> Holy. Bro, wait, I'm kind of getting chills here a little Astral bit. Astral Express, you're late. And this, unsung guest. Hold up, buddy, let's talk. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. The meme? Everyone, give it up for oh, me. Mr. Deleron! I'm fighting something. I'm just getting ready to throw hands. Mommy, look on my TV. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Let okay. me remind you that in uh, all likelihood, uh, this stage and his identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. <laughs> of course they do. God, I'm nervous. Otherwise, I'm so nervous. Why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because he's the only one who saw all three homicides. He is the key to proving that the family's death does not exist in Drain's promise is nothing but a sham. Damn. Three homicides? That's a three. I was like, three? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here in Clock Studios theme park. Yo, stop the jokes, man. Come on. A truly grand death. That's the, that's the color. You. Going to die, and it's all because of you, Mr. Stellar. 
that's not what I thought I was going to say. You will become the personification of death. I ain't that bad. <laughs> Look, man, I've done a lot. I'm not that powerful. Never underestimate yourself. Like I said, you have the power to turn the tide on the entire game. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panico. He's in his Joaquin Phoenix Joker arc right now. That's what I feel. Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC Leeds Navigator. Troubles runs out, runs to Bellabog. Not today. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You wanna bet? Don't bet against him. Sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Oh my god, don't press his buttons because he has a button. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. I'll fucking do it! I'll do it! Say I won't do it! From the wastelands of Sigonia. For just 60 red copper coins, people paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me. The golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No. I've never been defeated. Bro can't lose. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced. Oh, man. And you cannot choose to decline. Oh, man. It's giving Saw vibes. Or do you have any reason or ground to... The game audio, he, he screamed so loud he broke the game audio. <laughs> oh dear God. The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. Oh dear God. I'm putting down the bet. Never I'm gamble against this game. guy. She kind of goes crazy. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. All right, bitch. Let's see what you really made up. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I know you're going through a lot. This is the Gamba feature. I remember this from the live stream. Uh, left. Always bet on black. I think this one's black. <laughs> Fuck! I have to win this Gamba again. Why do you keep going? This one. <laughs> I didn't lose a single Gamba just saying. You're telling me this isn't a part of the story right now? This isn't a part of the story and you're like supposed to win some of these? Wait, do we all have to do this? And what do you want to know? This AoE? That's AoE. 
good. Um, I need to heal the you. <laughs> Not over yet. Hold on. Hold on. Let me cook. Hold on. What does that mean? Oh my god, a punji went on. By R7 Bailu. Oh man. Oh, 7 Bailu. Oh, Bailu. Oh, How do I win these? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, well, he don't lose gambles. That's his whole thing in the story. So, guys, that's what happens when you get the cannon ending. He doesn't lose gambles. Okay. Q. E. Nice. Humongous! That's it! That's it! Down to the last player. So why can't I be happy too? Why can't I feel that breathe? Oh no, man. Always hide your ace. This music is insane. I'm patient with you all. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. What? Only by casting aside reason does one truly can. Is Bro summoning God himself? She can go all out here, bro. He he is not fucking around. You're leaving? <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pinnacle. Who is this? What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Even if that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. I'm trying to wrap my head around this. There are always those who rise from the shadows. <laughs> Is this the Kevin guy from the last game? <laughs> they mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. She's gonna show her black and, uh, I mean the white and red side. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely. The alt colors. I will reach the nihility's end. <laughs> oh man. Bro is launching a nuke of money on the entire city. Oh my! Dude, stop! I wish to mourn the Shut up! Weeping like rain to swell the crossing stream. My God! Dude, that's May. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. She said, I'm her. That's insane. Oh my God. She just blew the whole place sky high. My God, my heart rate is so high. That was insane. Especially after the boss fight. Not the sheath and the rain. It's so cold. <laughs>
That's so cold. That's ice cold. Ice in her veins. She ate. Chad, what comes after seven? What is this place? Uh, a gigantic <laughs> black hole. She sent him to the fucking end of the and earth. See. Have I. Have I succeeded? In dying? Maybe. What is this space I'm in, my man? Child from Genshin Impact comes launching through this any second now. <laughs> Welcome to the sad world. Kakabasha. Is that mom? Your good luck is the most precious wealth. It's we me. All Avgen have. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. This space is insane. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Am I in your head? Oh God! Melody, is it? Oh God, dude! Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. The sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form. And Talking to Nihility. The Nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. Only gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with nihility. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my final destination? No way, right? The land of the dead. He's got so much story to write, man. I know you've been through some hardship, but come on. Join me. This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Dude, Nihili, look at her appearance. We momentarily linger here before moving on to our If own I path. could play all the time with her looking like this, I would. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little Look more. Look at the body. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life the background. just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Real death doesn't exist. Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. To my... It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I put money on the possibility. <laughs> right. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. 
The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside that world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, abyss. free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless, Unless you're someone you. goes to the other side of the barrier. That you know. And lives to tell the tale. <gasps> someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Because they don't remember? Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. It's her all along. Well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound and still on Pentacone. So she's gone to this abyss and back, but she doesn't remember. And that's why she's mute because she can't speak on it. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these conjectures is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But for what though? If you can control things this powerful, what are you so scared of? But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. Yeah, but his whole thing is winning the bets and it comes, <sighs> comes back together so perfectly because there's one person who can break the barrier. You're very lucky Phew! that fate has decided to let Phew! us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also he carve cornered her. brand off of you. He cornered her by launching a nuclear attack. <laughs> and if she didn't stop it, which would cause the casualties in the dream, then everybody would have died. So she was forced to show her hand and attack back and cut the veil. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides, constantly repeating the words of the emanator in front of others, leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. He bet that she would save everybody. He was betting on the fact that that attack wouldn't go through. That's crazy. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy, both He's are He's the most essential. genius character. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet, to the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. That's well, a huge gamble, isn't it? That's a really... But allow me to point out a mistake. He's lucky. <laughs> the IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, everybody would have I gone would have out. The bet. He, that's the biggest gamble of all time. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You've won. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. So if he gets in and it gets out, and after though, this, whether you can return from the abyss. That's another gamble. Is another gamble of yours. Will Aventurine come back? Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. Why not at his point, yeah. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble 
is not over yet. The Red Ray Man. From moment one, we knew that she would be so badass when we saw her pull up the Pinacana in the trailer, but man, it's a whole nother level for both of these characters. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? Real. If it's just to die. That's crazy. I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why then sound of it? Do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion. Because you don't it even has been know with fully you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. <sighs> life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because it needs to rest. Because we are not ready to welcome death. We're just trying to prep for it. That's oh, oh. We're not ready for it, so we're trying to do it as much as possible to get ready for it. Ah, and I'd be tired too. But like, so you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. That is so crazy. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. Every time we go to bed, we prep ourselves a little bit more to die but before the end there are many things that humans can do while on their journey and because of this the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning the red text take a good look at your pocket your friend has already given you the answer good luck the button Oh, ratio stuff. That's right. When you need me the most, use it. The impossible and the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. That's his way of saying, I love you, Pookie. I love you, Pookie. Please come home. Don't die. In his little ratio <laughs> way. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> <sighs> then I shall get going. What a ride. Oh, Mister. Little me. You're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. <gasps> but not now. <gasps> there will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops. Know that it is time for me to go and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, dude, it makes your eyes glaze. I should be preparing. Preparing for what? Wait, maybe we're all wrong. Maybe we gotta skip Acheron for him. Maybe he's the real character we all need. Well, preparing to face them, Kakamisha. And to make them proud. Wait, this actually might be the best guy in the game. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. Oh, good wraparound. Good wraparound, man. <laughs>
But you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? Oh, oh man. <laughs> Another cutscene? Adventuring's gotta be one of the most unexpectedly amazing characters of this game. <laughs> Are you think, going now? So good. Yes. His little <laughs> May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping your blood eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell. Thank you, Kakava Chef. Oh god fucking out of my chest best quest yet best quest of the game with hope for the morrow nestled in my heart i descended to the slumber of tonight until the down moment of all coming morrows kisses me i have them embrace the quiet death but this man is different he lives and breathes in the present and every sinking night by every daring gamble, no vision of Morrow ever grace his dreams. His life knows no quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempest one after another, till mire enshrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once fallen die has at least landed on the earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it is at last landed. I interpret it this way before they go further I think he's going to where Akron's been to find out more but I don't think he's done is this is this my Ting Yoon coping skills is this me Ting Yoon coping I don't know Everybody will think he's dead, but I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure they just had a conversation about going there and coming back because somebody else already did it. Adventuring said he was going to his family one day. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's not death. His family's dead. He's going to wherever Akron has been. He kept his promise. To find out the real truth behind this whole schmaz. And got what he wanted. Jade. <laughs> Your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Or maybe, like, he'll just be suspended in this for a long time, then die. Let's but. fulfill our duty and start harvesting. Harvesting? Thereafter, in the cradle of slumbers, deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I will have wine with you any day. I bestow day. poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Oh my god, bro. Meanwhile, memory's own depths. You try to open your eyes but find only blackness before you. And whose POV is this? <laughs> Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Adventuring unleashes his final attack assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of ships, followed closely by Akron drawing her blade and then crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. Yes, I'm duck. I think someone saved me. Doesn't matter. I need to get out of here. Oh. You're awake. <gasps> I've been waiting on you for Dude, quite a while. Do it. 
What have you done? What's still going on here? I didn't do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. Mm hmm. That's it. Nobody else. Where am I? <laughs> up earlier to reveal some truths to you. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined. And it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the... Script, Elio. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, there is only one method that I use. Don't. Don't. This is to show Don't. You. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Huh? Is that it? Yes! Oh, that I am. You thought I was crazy. You thought I was insane. Everybody, no, it can't be Sam. Maybe Sam's related. Maybe Sam's like her third cousin or something like that. You're wrong. It was her the whole time, and I knew. I could smell her. I knew the vibe. The owner of this mansion must be. My heart rate's so high. Dude, my heart's like pounding through the fucking. I am tell I know this is important right now. Oh my god, she's alive. She's alive, but she's Sam. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. The song Security isn't officer. sad anymore. I hope that With sense that of humor of yours shackles. has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. At least she's alive, Why? you know? Did I hit her nerve? Fuck the firefly bitch that I is here. Okay. Mr. Gallagher, my patience. <laughs> she's is alive. Thin. Neglecting duties. Dude, we don't care. Five Five's alive, bro. Will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. That's so crazy. Oh, it makes me so happy. I, I'm so glad I played this because now I can go to like the Pinacani event with my friends this weekend and be like, dude, 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 dude. Bro. <sighs> Holy shit. Scoundrel. Punk. Drunk. Hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Talk your shit. Your problem is paranoia. Talk your shit. You're just crazy, you know? Uh huh. Lunatic. Uh huh. That's bold. I don't know why he's getting this bold. You. The family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. Punch him in the face. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. Yeah, they're everywhere, these birds. Magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? To watch it play out? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. What is happening? Bro, is is a Venturine dead? Acheron's past. Firefly's alive. Sunday's after his guard the entire time? If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Really? Ha, huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. 
Isn't that right, my brother? Was that like in the yo bro way or in the we're biologically related way? Which way did I mean they highlighted it probably because it's not in the bro way, right? Okay. <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Bro way, right? Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes. Benny! Which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar. The mark of Wolsey. And the grey vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. Is he a mixture of, is he the, is he a father of? When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade, a complete Gallagher. He took pieces from everybody and made himself? Tell he is the wrong. family? <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? Well, sounds fine. Or Firefly, I don't know what to call him now. This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched dis Despicable dog! Why did you kill her? He actually cares genuinely about his sister. Oh my god, we're gonna get another cutscene. <laughs> oh my god, what is <sighs> happening? You know, in laughing? the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> is this like Sparkle or Want somebody? The answer? Like... I'll give it to you. <laughs> The whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Joe. Like brother, like sister, man. Dude, my heart is so high. I gotta wear a heart rate monitor the next time I play this game. Gallagher has a ploy this whole time? Nice. Who has control of the meme? Dude, I'm I, I. That's what's crazy about Hoyo. They'll release a character at four star level, put him in the background of a story, make him a little bartender, a side piece of this whole thing, and then make him the guy that stabs everybody. That is insane writing. I'm at a full on loss nice. for words. Not only one of the best quests that I've played in this game, I have a question about it. The best quest in the game. I think it's one of the best quests of all time that I've played in gaming. It's like so unexpected. So many things are tying back up, but there's yet so much that has been answered. Will Aventurine live? What the heck happened with Sam and Firefly? Gallagher on Sunday action? Acheron, what's she gonna do from now? What is her true past? What does it all mean? I thought the Firefly drop was gonna be the biggest finale for all of it. But no, Gallagher just casually stabs Sunday in the back. Dude, I don't know if there's ever a chance of the writers seeing this reaction to this, but man, is that not one of the most impressive things ever. I hope they watch this and people's reactions to it and they feel creatively fulfilled, because that is amazing. Everybody, you know what to do. Say your goodbyes to YouTube, because we are heading out. I'm 
I'm going to a live event tomorrow. By the time you watch this, it might be over already, but uh, it's going to be for Pinacate, actually. And now I know everything about it. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new and come watch on twitch.tv slash duck TV. Let's be honest. If you've watched this long, you might as well just come catch a couple streams because this is a long ass video. Come on over. We've been doing a subathon for 200 days. I'll see you guys very soon. Take it easy. And oh my God, my brain is broken. <laughs>